Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to episode 12 of Prothero's Journey. Um, he is spoke to Martin, given him the Mysterium Xarxes, and now, after, uh, you know, a sit down and a little mead, he has come to realize that uh, he needs to get on, go over and He's rested, you know, for a little bit, and he needs to go talk to friend? Joffrey about the spies that are lingering about, because that is not a, ever a good thing. Good there he is. Down the mythic we finally took the fight to the enemy. Yes, sir, we did. I hope what Martin can I do for you? What he's doing with that evil book. I fear for what it could do to him if he's not careful. I'm right there with you. Uh, so, I've heard you uh, having issues with spies. Ah, yes, I hope you can help. The gate guards have reported seeing strangers on the road for the past several nights. I cannot leave Cloud Ruler undefended while my men search the whole. I'm probably one of them. But these spies must be. Eliminated. They've probably seen me running back and forth quite a bit. <laughs> like just to be honest, uh, I will find these spies. Thank you. Talk to Stefan. He can tell you where he has seen them. Captain Bird in Bruma may also be able to help. I've asked the Countess to have the guard keep an eye out for strangers. Cool. Track down the spies and kill them. Find out what they know and what they're planning, if possible. Mm. We can do all of this and more. Thank you. you all right. Eliminate those spies. Right on. Well, we'll you take care of it. Let the mythic dawn operate out of rumor with I, I got you. We're not going to let it happen. Okay. So um, I think we're drastically low on uh, on booze. So we need to go to Bruma anyway and uh, stock up. But actually, he said we could talk to the captain and the captain would have a little bit more information so sir what can i do for you sir uh what about these spies we always see them near the rune stone at dusk they aren't too woodcrafty but grandmaster joffrey has forbidden us to range too far from the walls okay all right but it seems that you have been given the freedom to attack the enemy that we all crave good luck we will keep the Emperor safe here. Don't worry. Yeah, I got you, buddy. May your sword always strike true. Yes. So, let us head to, uh, head on down to, uh, Bruma. It is 1250. And we are going to probably go, um, find a place to wait in town or uh, to rest up. Kind of just chill for the day. <clears throat> And then we're going to head out uh, at dusk, because we missed dusk. We've, uh... Actually, we haven't. We have not missed dusk. We are... We should be able to time this just right, actually. Um, to where we go in, pick up some booze, come back out, and... We'll chill, have a few drinks in the old tavern, in the old tap and tack over there. Because at least they're friendly, not like the damn uh, Geral view in. Where they were kind of a bunch of assholes, honestly. And. Damn, I hate to hear that for an old war veteran. Hate that. Greetings. Greetings. All right, guys. We. I still can't believe that I couldn't find any good spells at the chapel. I, I swear when I used to play this game on console, it seemed like they had good spells there. So, what a, what a bummer. They say that when you murder someone, Olaf. What can I do for you today? My friend, you oh, know business. what I need. And what I need is your ale. Speaking of which... A pleasure to serve you. While we're just kind of uh, killing a little bit of time here, we'll go ahead and have a meat or an ale. Sorry. What is it now? So uh, tonight I'm sipping on the Elysian You're space dust. It's not bad. Gold, they sell it at the store, like right around the corner from my house, and I'm I'm a pretty big fan. Oh. It's all right. They have a pretty limited selection of uh, guard, of uh, good beers, but the ones they have are pretty good, so that's a that's a treat. Um, 
Well, what is I don't it? think the church likes it. Have you seen but he's right healing wind skills? I enjoy some good ale while I'm playing a good game. So, right wind certainly can handle a blade. I love how in Oblivion, unlike Skyrim, you have actual random conversations going on and not the same three scripted town conversations uh, that you hear uh, all throughout the game. Okay, so we need to wait about... I mean, I could sit in this tavern and just prattle on or read a book. Uh, actually, we have a book that I think we kept. Uh, we were going to read the book. We were going to read it. Not that one, obviously. Um, Sacred Witness? Was it Sacred Witness? Uh, oh, did we get rid of it? Dang. Okay, well... Yeah, never mind. I, I just stupidly realized that I'm an idiot because time will not pass if I'm reading a book because it'll kind of like pause Hello. the game. So we'd still have to do this. All right, we're going to chill by the fire and sip on ales for about mm, 5 o'clock. Then we're going to head out there. 1700 for those of you who don't know what, what 5 o'clock is. Uh... And we're going to head on out here, see if we can't find these uh, Mythic Dawn agents. I'd suggest probably we're going to put on a little bit, just a, a smidgen of armor. Kind of like we're concealing our armor, uh, but I want a little bit because uh, it'd be embarrassing to get pretty fucked up by these uh, basic enemies. I'd be quite embarrassed. Coin for an old beggar. Uh, I can eat for a day with a single coin. My friend, eat for a day. Thank you, kind sir. I always forget their voice changes when you. Blessings of RK upon you. And I'll need all of them. All the blessings of RK. Okay. Guardsman. Just doing the Lord's work over here. Just doing the Lord's work. Do, do. I think this path goes to this. Yet yeah, the Doomstone. There it is. I don't know if they're here. We're not much for sneaking, but I mean, we might as well sneak up and uh, try to. Oh, never mind. Well, we found them. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Come on. I'm not doing so hot, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm... Okay. Is there... The Mythic Dawn agent named Gerald is dead. I should continue to search for other spies. Locate their base in Bruma. Perhaps I should speak to Captain Bird, as Joffrey suggested. Yeah, I probably should have done that already. Uh, my bad. We just got a little excited. We got a little excited. Um, you know, wanted to come after them, the bastards. Take all your keys. Yes. Found the basement key. Perhaps this clue can help me look at him at the Dawn Agent's base in Bruma. Captain Bird may be able to provide information. Yep, we're going to go see him. The prestigious captain of the guard, Captain Bird. Okay. Is there not another one? I thought I was getting hit by two people, but I think I just suck really bad. And they and that chick was, and she was kind of owning me. I'm not. I'm not too big to say that that she was doing that. All right, we're gonna put on the rest of our armor. Damn, we really slowed down. That would have helped tremendously because I think that raises my armor to 13 <laughs> as opposed to uh, nothing. When we're really in a really serious battle, that's the only time we're going to be wearing our helmet. Otherwise, we're going to try to avoid wearing it because, uh, I mean, quite frankly, I like the way the hood looks better. And it makes more sense because wearing a helmet all the time, like in reality, it, it sucks and it weighs a lot. You can kind of get over carrying something with your body, like armor like that, over time and use. But a hel helmets just, they, they are annoying. 
Unless you have a really good one. All right. Today's Captain Bird. Day, so let's hear it. I hope it's Captain my lucky Bird, day. Commander of the Bruma Guard. Let's talk about these spies, Captain. Except for Jurel coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now with the Oblivion Crisis. I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out, but I've had no reports of any strangers in town. What about mm. you? Turned up anything suspicious? Yes. Jurel was a mythic dawn agent who lived here. God's blood. So she was the spy? <laughs> Seems there's no one you can trust these days. Since you're working with Cloud Ruler Temple, I'm going to authorize you to search Jurel's house. I'll pass the word to my men. We won't interfere. You know, that'd be awfully kind of you. Thank you. Any more word? I trust that you'll handle things appropriately. The less I know about it, the better. That tends to be the way we work as blades. Kind of in the shadows. Sometimes having to do the questionable things, especially if you guys, uh... Anybody out there has played Morrowind. Uh, there's all kinds of ways you can go about completing quests when you're doing the blade what stuff. Hello. Just like any good RPG, you have options. Another thing I wish Skyrim actually had was a little bit a little bit more options. A little bit more feeling like I get to decide how things go on on the mission. Okay. All right. Let's go inside. Okay. Well, we already know that she was a person of, of interest so we're gonna eat uh eat her watermelon it's my watermelon now very good and we'll look around while we're munching on a little watermelon we're looking around a uh, loaf of bread and a pear yep paper don't need that chest i have three picks wow And it's an empty chest. Awesome sauce. Okay. You won't. She won't need this uh, carrot or this bread. Mm-hmm. Let's go in this basement. Yep. There it is. There's her propaganda right here. Get out of here. Um, Jurel's orders. Find out means Jurel's base and reveals the enemy's plans. I should show the document to Joffrey. In case you can't just read it. In Morrowind, you would so just have to, like, read this damn note and then make the next move. It wouldn't even give you, like, a journal update, probably. <laughs> Jurel, the master is pleased to hear of your activities outside of Coral. The more gates that we open, the nearer we are to the glorious cleansing. That doesn't sound good. Uh, the master has chosen you in Severi... For a most crucial mission, a sign of your advancement through the ranks of the Chosen, we have learned that the Septum Heir has gone to a Cloud Ruler Temple. The Lair of the Accursed Blades, yes. Uh, the Master has made it its destruction a top priority order. Lord Daniel has committed to resources as required. Okay, that's... Well, you'd think they would just open one of those giant gates right outside of the fucking thing and, and take it out. Uh, pending your report on Septum's activities at Cloud Ruler Temple and your assessment of the temple's defenses and possible routes of escape. We plan to open a great gate in the open ground before Bruma as soon as possible. Remember, the first three lesser gates represent only the preliminary stages of great gate deployment. Do not in any way compromise your cover in defense of these gates. New ones can be quickly and easily reopened. And, once the great gate is opened, the fall of Bruma is assured. The Cloud Ruler Temple cannot stand long after that, and the Septum will be caught like a rat in a trap. We would welcome any further details you can offer concerning the Imperial agent who rescued Martin from Kavaj. But again, we caution you, do not risk confrontation. This individual is not to be trifled with. The dawn is breaking. Ruma Cameron. Well, I don't know, you know, I don't know whether to be pissed or kind of happy that, you know, he, uh, he thought to ridicule us in such a way. We're, we're not to be trifled with. Very good. We're going to head out this way, because we can feel a draft coming from this tunnel over here, and we know it leads somewhere. OK. 
okay. Yeah, very creepy. The bad guys always love their cool, creepy hideouts. Let's see. And yeah, nothing up here, but a bunch of junk. Okay, so we've we've got the orders. I think that might be. There's one other agent, right? I thought that note said. Yeah, that note said something about there being another agent. Do I still have it? Yeah. Well, I thought there was another. For sure. We're back out to... That's the Bruma Caverns we walked by earlier, obviously. Uh, you know? You can... You can discover that before you ever even do the main quest at all. What the hell? Come on. That was an interesting strategy, kind of run to the side. <laughs> oh yeah, with our armor on, we're doing a lot better. Very good. I'll take all of that. Uh, very well, thank you, sir. I'm surprised he is, he's not uh, over at that Oblivion Gate, actually. Okay. I swear there was another agent. There's two, I think. I think I remember the note said that. Jarl and another and another agent. Let's just pop by here. See if we see. There you are. I'm wearing my damn near full kit this time. Paradise awaits me. Mythodon agent named Severi Ferrum. The Mythic Dawn spies are dead. Okay, good. It's all coming back to me now. I, I knew there was two. And pardon the vape, guys. I, I use it a lot because uh, it helps me not have a dip, honestly. No, a lot of people think it's gross, but I love a good dip. Sweet. All right. We killed the shit out of the spies. Um, and we're going to head back now. We know that they're dead. We're going to change back into some more comfortable clothing and uh, head on up and report our progress. Hello, guardsmen. Yes. Um, I love it. We had a. It's so. It's just so fun. The combat in this game is just always. Uh, I, they are good. At, I think people shit on the Elder Scrolls uh, series for the combat, but I think it's fun. Each game is fun, and it's fun in its own way that makes it where, you know, I don't know if it was their intention, but to where I really want to replay the game sometimes just because I miss the combat of the game. Okay. Very good. Where is old Joffrey? I know it's getting late. About 9.30. Hello. What have you learned about the spies? Well, they're dead. And here's the orders. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The gods did not idly choose you as their agent, whatever you may think. <laughs> but it is clear that Mankar Cameron will soon bring all his power to bear against Bruma. I will warn the Countess of the danger. You should speak to Martin. I believe he has made some progress with the Mysterium Xarxes. All right, thank you very much. Take I care. Send word to the Countess at once of the danger to Bruma. You should speak to Martin about his progress with the Xarxes. Sure. Good evening, sir. Good evening. All right.
right. Martin, my friend. I've deciphered part of the ritual needed to open a portal to Camelon's paradise. Get Xerxes it. mentions four items needed for the ritual. But so far, I have only deciphered one of them. Okay. The blood of a Daedra Lord. All right. In fact, Daedric artifacts are known to be formed from the essence of a Daedric Lord, from whence they derive their great power. Yeah. Not an easy thing to come by, obviously, but we will need a Daedric artifact. Bring it to me when you have acquired one. Okay. I think I'm close to deciphering more of the Wow. Ritual. I hope to have made some progress by the time you return. Yeah, no no big deal. Just go find an entire ass Daedric artifact um, and bring it back here. You got yeah, man. They give me the the wildest uh, missions. Do they do this to you? Do you ever do crap like this? Or you just you're just in here you know what? Good idea. Gosh damn, let's have an ale. Alright. Well, we're gonna have an ale. Actually, we're gonna have an L for a minute and uh, just kind of sit and uh, probably have a piece of bread. Just a little bit of bread. Thank you. Yep. Enjoy your night, man. Uh, we're gonna go turn in and uh, we're gonna go, I guess. Um, we're gonna go locate a, a damn Daedric artifact, uh, I reckon. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Wow. This would, this would suck to do all the time. Like, up on the straight up floor. <laughs> We're sleep till seven. Or, for seven hours. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Yep. I guess it's the changing of the guard happening. Um, we have a little bit of breakfast. Let's have some good old boar meat we're, we're gonna say that we kind of cooked it up a little bit um, um, so we need to find a data artifact that is true however we also let's see what's my carry capacity not good yeah we got some crap to sell we got some crap to sell so I think um, I'm going to take a quick break, go sell some crap. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know if you guys like seeing those parts or if you're just enjoying the vibe of like me running around. <clears throat> Selling stuff is a lot of the game. That's part of why I picked a mercantile skill as well. Because, I mean, you every character, damn near, you should have mercantile simply on the, the role-playing aspect of the fact that you spend 50% of your time on every one of these damn games selling shit. I mean, seriously, what time is it? 5.30 in the morning. Damn, we got up early to make this run. We kind of need to go to the Imperial City. And and uh, there's a reason I say that. The uh, The Imperial City... We, we have an artifact to sell, for one, and we, we really want that money, that artifact, that good artifact money. Um, so we're, we're going to definitely, actually, we're going to bypass Bruma. It's nice and early. We've got some time. We're going to make our way to the Imperial City, or try to. I don't know how long that might take. Uh, hopefully not too long. But uh, we're going to do that. I'm kind of pondering to myself, out of character. Uh, I really don't want to turn in certain artifacts. One being Azura Star, obviously. Uh, it's it's just too good. It is too good. Um, probably, if I could find a shrine to her scene, I think the Savior's Hide would be a good choice. Because I, I think you all you have to do is hunt a unicorn, which I'm like all about it anyway. And, uh, you're not necessarily... 
Oh shit. Not only, um, anyway, not only is, uh, is, I think, it light armor, uh, but, I don't know. I hate giving up Azura Star. I hate it. It's just, it's so powerful, like, you know, and it's so easy to even get the quest marker and everything, read the book, go, oh, we're gonna go get Azura Star. But... Honestly, out of character, I'd really prefer to not do that. Wow, how beautiful. I can never get over how beautiful this is, this game. I don't know what time we're running at, uh, by the way. Hopefully not, you know, I don't want to make that... I'm kind of haphazardly wondering about if I'm making the videos either too short or too long for you guys. I don't know what you guys like. Um, I personally like the long videos when I watch somebody play. Wow, beautiful. Amazing. Look at that. Because, it, you know, I like to set it on and maybe go to sleep or, like, relax and do studying or whatever I want to do while I'm listening to it. Um, so for me, the long videos are my favorite because I don't have to constantly keep... Holy shit, we're like on a extreme in, uh, decline right now. Look at this. <laughs> Holy cow, what time is it? It's 7.20 in the morning. So it's taken us about two hours to get this far. Shit, fire. Like, how did I scale that mountain <laughs> like that? Woo! At least it's a damn option in the game, guys. It's not like Skyrim where, you know, again, I love the game. I, I'm not trying to piss off anybody, but... Uh, <laughs> I like having the freedom to go how the hell I want to get to places. Wow. That's as pretty as a damn picture. I know you guys can't see it because my upload uh, quality is shit, but... Uh... Damn, there's a gate right right smack there. Like this, This is becoming such an issue. We need to solve it. I want to go in there and, uh, of course, close that gate, but at the same time, if I spend a day or two closing that gate and the enemy, it, you know, that's the only thing. I love the, the fact that they have all these gates and you they're just random and you can adventure basically endlessly in this game. I love that. Um, I actually made a character back when I was in high school whose only goal was to try to close every gate in the entire world, and at that time, I didn't know that they were randomly generated, and I was like, holy crap. It said, I, I think I closed, I don't even know how many of them. And every time you close one, I think you actually get an increase to your fame, which is funny. All right. Cool. Sweet. I didn't see any signs of Daedric Shrines nearby. Oh, hell. Ow! Oh! Damn! Get out of here with that. That'd be some good meat. It's already frozen. <laughs> Alright. So. Again, I don't know which way the bridge is. And I'm not going to make y'all suffer that, honestly. We're going to take a little bath swim here. And, uh... <laughs> Epic music for the crab. Alright. Alright. We're going to drop everything, and we are going to just take a little swim on over. Just a little swim. All right. We're about to have to cut the episode, though, honestly, no matter what the length, because I've got to go grab a beer. Uh, and 
I need to know how long we've been recording anyway, because I don't want to ever I have this weird fear of like recording like a two-hour video and nobody watching it. Get out of here, naked crab hunter. <laughs> okay, we don't need the armor. We're gonna dress. We're dressing for town. It's not raining. We don't need a hood. We're good to go. Yep, we are good to go. Yeah, Prothero is not, I mean, he's a drunkard and a fiend uh, who, who isn't really amounted to much, but he tries to keep at least a clean appearance and, for the most part, uh, keep things upstanding. It's hard to get jobs uh, if you're a wandering drunk, if you just look like a vagabond, to be honest. It's like the same thing that a lot of people judge homeless people for the way that they look. It's kind of the same thing anywhere. Like, you at least want to look to where you can pick up random jobs if you need to pick up a random job you know, especially you know I'm, I'm just imagining in this world you could pick up a laborer job quite hey, easily um, so right, we're all healed up sweet okay we, we can actually cast that a little bit better than what I uh, had thought what the hell what, what the hell oh shit Yeah. Ugh. All right, gentlemen, it's fine. It's over. Bathroom. Red garment. Why did you do that? Why is he twitching? Ah, oh, this is horrifying. This is just horrifying. And I've got hit with an arrow from a damn guard. Ow. Right. Greetings. Damn. We didn't have our armor on at all. They must have seen the katana and just attacked. A pleasure Hello. To speak with you. Hey, while we're here, we're going to knock You've out a little... A lot yeah, a little training. Cool. Knowledge is... Every Pay time attention. we get a little bit of money, Knowledge we blow it all on training jet Knowledge guys. Is... You know how it goes. We Armor, just weapons, I have it all. can't how resist. I get rid of you. Yeah, I can't haggle for shit with her. I've already tried recently, I think. No. Like I said, y'all, this is a not a race. Let's play. This is going to take some serious damn time to play, and I apologize in advance. Damn! See, there's a silver longsword. It'd be so Come nice. And see me again. Take care and thank you. Be seeing you. Yep. And we're really gonna leave the body out in the middle of the road, guys. Like, can we not drag him to the damn? alleyway or something no I guess not hello hello all right where is this fella live this umbacano oops where does he live Imperial City <laughs> like gee awesome I think he lives in the super nice. It, is it the, it's not the Elven Gardens, is it? It's not that. I know that. We need to find this fella. I can't remember how much he said he would pay for a statue, but we desperately we love money, guys. We love it. Let's have a beer. And we need it because we have a drinking habit. It's you, the hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. Hello, sir. Hello. It's an honor to see you as well. <sighs> okay. This has got to be it. I love this area. It's so posh. So cool. Okay. Nope, this isn't it. <laughs> I do like this area, though. It's the Talos Plaza, I think. Welcome to episode 12 of uh, Prothero Let's Play, where we just wander aimlessly for the most of the episode. 
That's kind of our episodes. We get one mission done, and then we wander around aimlessly for a while because I'm an idiot. And I can't remember where stuff is. There's the house we had the key to. We might need to remember that, just to go in there and take a look around. What is it, citizen? I feel like it's worth investigating, seeing as he literally attacked us in the middle of the street. Jack Van Imbel's house. Umbacano. Very good. Good to see you again, sir. Shall I escort you upstairs to see my master? Yes. Show me to him. Very good. Please follow me. Okay, yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This is going to be a very long let's play, guys. I'm sorry. It's my entertainment as well as yours, hopefully. Uh, but uh, we're going to take our time with it. All right, sir. Good, sir. Ah, yes. My treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? I've got a statue. Yes. Have you found another statue for me? Yes, I have a statue. Sell it. 500. All right. Ah, a second ancestor. Excellent. I had wondered whether the first was just luck. But I see now that you have some skill at this work. I do. By good fortune, my research has uncovered some new information that may help you in your search for the remaining statues. Okay. What have you learned? I have found the names of a number of alien cities where the statues may have been taken for safekeeping cool. during the siege of White Gold Tower. Awesome. The only modern sites that still bear their ancient names are Moranda, Makamentain, Wenyanduik, Ninendava, and Fanakas. Okay. There is no guarantee that my sources are correct, of course, but these should at least provide a starting point for your search. All right, very good. Yeah. What about this Temple of the Ancestors? You know it as White Gold Tower, hmm. the center of the ancient alien capital of Nibelheim. It was brutally sacked thousands of years ago by humans led by Alessia. The Imperial City is built over the ruins of that ancient city. Good. I mean, uh, yeah, I know that sucks for your, your people, bye. whatever. All right, bye. He actually goes and puts it in the case, which is very interesting. What an interesting what game. Let's get out of here. Good morning. All right, guys. Uh, so we're actually going to break it off here for a number of reasons. Um, we are probably going to uh, get some rest at the end. What time is it? It is 1130 in the morning. Hell no, we're not. Still pretty early. All right, so we'll just head from here. I'm going to check the video time, um, see how long that is. If it's not long enough, I'll add more. But you guys uh, have a great day, night, whatever. And uh, thank you for joining me on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it.